Hi, I'm Crit. I'm 88 years old, and I'm here to find my perfect class. I've made some questionable decisions in the past, but I know this year will be different. I know that my perfect class is out there for me, and with over 5,000 applicants, I'm hoping I can find it in 88 of them. Hi, I'm Chris Harrison. Welcome to an exciting new season of The Matchroom. The time has finally come for Pritt to meet his perfect 88 fit. These applicants have come to Chicago from all across the country to win the love and acceptance of our sexy Midwestern matchup. Let's meet the applicants. Hi, I'm Connie. I come from a long line of physicians, the lineage of Hippocrates. I was a bit of a late bloomer. It wasn't until my seventh month in utero that I finally decided I wanted to be a physician. So eager was I to pursue this life calling that I spent my eighth month drawing Netter-style diagrams of my mother's placental anatomy and characterizing my own neonatal development. With a week left before my expected birthday, and really nothing left to learn in the confinement of my mother's womb, I decided to take matters into my own hands. I carefully maneuvered my body into the breech position, hoping for my first breath to be the sterile air of an OR. My first sight, bright lights and blue gowns. I'm really excited to meet the bachelor. I have no doubt we'll hit it off. My name is Mike. I am 30 years young. I was born in 1985, if you can believe that. Uh, I've had a couple of careers before coming here, but I think that my life experience will only give me a leg up on the competition. I've survived Y2K and the Great Recession of 2008. I mean, I don't want to date myself here, but when I was a kid, Pluto was still a planet. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's one thing I've learned in my long life, it's, uh, don't sweat all the small things. <laughs> it's Blink-182, but you probably don't get that reference. It was before your time. Anywho, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to, to meet Pritz and imagine our life together. Uh, you've got to say something. How about you just tell us a bit about yourself? Hey, what's up, CJ? Uh, I don't know, I guess I like lacrosse, uh, you know, like my spoons. I think that they're a pretty important aspect to my life. It's pretty much taught me everything I know. Uh, you know, why should I be here? Um, you know, I'm a good leader. Uh, I was captain of my JV team. We almost got to state. It's pretty great. Um, and I guess, uh, you know, I know a lot about health, you know, a lot about fitness. I think that's uh, blatantly obvious. But uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, I think that me and the Mashal will be a great team. You know, play some wax a little bit, do some one on one drills, stuff like that. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I've always wanted to be a doctor because it's the most altruistic of professions, and I just love helping people. I volunteered thousands of hours between local food banks, the Red Cross, uh, local animal shelters, and I especially love making sure that our environment stays clean. I've also gone on well over 15 medical mission trips abroad. Anyway, I'm just the most excited to meet the bachelor because he's my top choice.
now the man you've heard so much about, Prince Zeker. Hi, everyone. Hi, Fred. I'm very excited to be here today, and more importantly, to meet all of you. I'd like to meet with everyone individually, so Mike, will you step out with me for a minute? I'd be honored. So, Brett, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're a little older than the other applicants. Oh, I didn't notice at all. But aren't you worried that the age gap will be too much? You know, age doesn't really matter to me. I've seen people of all ages and from all walks of life. I think it's great, actually, if you have a lot of experience. That's your friend. Prince seems like a really genuine guy. So then, there was the time that I went to Uganda, but then after that I went to Peru, and, and then there was of course the time where I also went to, uh... Okay, uh, um, so, I'm gonna get some uh, water, um, but... Oh! Whoops! Oh! Is that my MCAT score? Oh, that's so embarrassing. It's not that great. Uh, what? Some grape? <laughs> Who does that girl even think she is? When I was in high school, one practice, I got like 46 assists, alright? It's not that big of a deal. Haiti, and then there was Cuba, the Dominican... <laughs> great talk, Mike. Oh, it was a wonderful time, Prince. Alright. I think my biggest competition right now is Mike. Alright, next up, I'd like to talk to Brennan. Uh, Brennan? Don't worry about a thing. This is just going to be a casual chat, so just tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Did you kids know that I was old enough to vote for President Obama in his first election? <laughs> Jeez, Matt. It's, it's Mike, dear. Uh, whatever. Nobody cares about your old geezer stories. Actually, Mike, that sounds really interesting. Do you want to go talk about this? I'd love to. Yeah, let's do it. I was 19 and Barack Obama was asking the nation if we wanted change and if we had hope, and by God we did. That's I great. Was... That's so interesting. Wait a minute. Hi. Um, so Mike had a bit of a thing, a little emergency, but uh, okay. while I'm here, can I? Borrow you for a second? Can I steal them for just a sec? No, I'll I think be that'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, come on. So as I was saying, I was born in... Oh, well actually, I know exactly where you were born. Oh. I've been reading about you on the internet for the past few months. Every article you've been featured in, I've read it. Oh, I just know we'd be perfect together. Actually, um, I think I love you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I mean, I, I like you, I just, I don't... Well, you know, we are kind of perfect for each other. Oh yeah? I mean, we have so many things in common. Like, we're just drowning in NIH grant money. We both are really involved in prestigious research. That is true, but, I mean, we also have to remember the importance of really supporting our community and benefiting our patients. Yeah. Sure, okay, cool, whatever, but you and I both know how important it is for us to be able to raise Nobel laureates together. <laughs> so, Connie is, she's nice, I just, I, I don't know if she's my type. Would you cut it out already? I'm just waiting for them to come back and I don't know where they are. Calm down, bro. <sighs> alright, that's life. You gotta handle that, alright? What do you know? You're wearing sunglasses at an interview? Fine. Fine. I didn't come here to make friends! I came here to win! Okay, but that's not it. I mean, what? What is this? This is, this is serious! Spoon. Why are you even here? I don't understand! I just... I... Okay. Yeah. You're so Have funny. <laughs> yeah. See, 
DJ, you're up next. Would you follow me, please? All right. Nice to meet you. Right. Oh. Oh. So, CJ, what type of specialty are you interested in? That's a good question, bro. All right, well, I'd say uh, about halfway through my OBGYN residency, if you know what I mean. CJ seems interesting. Yeah, this, uh, this one time at this house party, my friend uh, from Barf had a little bit too much to drink and he fell off the roof and ended up in the hospital. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah. Now, the worst part, though, man, was uh, he lost all of his muscle mass. Got, got super skinny. It's gross. And, uh, but stuff like that just makes me thankful for what I have. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really interesting. All right, Brenda, what you want to do is you want to slide your hand down a little bit. I, I'm so sorry. I just... I haven't had even a second with Crit yet. Do you think? Do you think I could steal him away from you for for just like just yeah, a second? No problem. Please no problem. do. Whoa. I'm so glad we're finally getting time to talk to each other. Yeah, me too. So why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. So I've pretty much known forever that I want to go into family practice. Um, I'm just very others oriented and I, I want to get to know people well and I want to be able to support them mentally and emotionally and physically. Mm -hmm. um, and each individual is just so important to me, you know? Absolutely, and that's really noble. I've talked to a lot of people who are really interested in going into primary care. Uh, what kind of experiences have you had in the community? Uh, I spent about a month in Africa doing cleft lip operations. You mean you were helping the doctors with the operation, right? No, I did them myself. Hi again, everybody. Hi. So, it's been great getting to know all of you. I have some really difficult decisions to make tonight at the White Coat Ceremony. Now, before I make those, those decisions, does anybody have any last questions? Oh, I, I do. Okay. Yeah. I hate to interrupt, but it's time to get ready for your White Coat Ceremony. Sorry, everybody. It's time for me to leave. I'll see you all tonight at the ceremony. I can't get rejected. I'm the only one who's here for the right reasons. So I know Prit doesn't internally rank, but I'd be his number one. Good evening, applicants. Welcome to your white coat ceremony. This has been one of the most competitive and dramatic seasons in history. But Prit has finally made his decision. Good evening, and thank you for your interest in me. This season has been extremely competitive with many well-qualified applicants, and I want you all to know that you can count yourselves among them. I want to acknowledge all of your amazing accomplishments, but I regret to inform you that none of you have been selected to be in this year's class. Yes! No! Yes. What is he what? talking about? I don't understand! Good choice, my man. I enjoy working with you, all right? Do you not have eyes? This isn't fair! I know I'm sorry! I, I know I do not hate you! I'm sorry! It's tough, man. So what are you going to do now? Got an idea. Welcome to this live final edition of The Matchler. There's been a lot of heartache this season. I've made a lot of tough decisions. And I've gotten to speak with each and every one of you individually on our dates. I just have one final question to ask you. Will you be here for the next four years?
Did I mention I studied abroad in London? <laughs>